Hi everyone, so this video is a beauty trash empties video. I've got a box of empties in front of me, things that I've been using, at least the things that I've remembered to save that I've been using, and uh, let's dive in, shall we? Let's go through what I've used up and I will share my thoughts if I have any you know, thoughts either way, and um, yeah, let's get into it. So, just because it's at the top, the first one is a Maui Moisture uh, Volcanic Ash Shampoo. There. I actually really quite liked this shampoo. I like quite a few things from this brand, um, but I am not repurchasing shampoos or conditioners at the moment because I'm working through my stash, the things that I've already got. Next is another hair product. It is a VO5 Refresh Dry Shampoo uh, for normal to oily hair. I actually really quite liked this one. Um, it was more powdery than some others that I've used. I don't mind that though. And um, it worked quite well. I used this one before going to bed. Uh, a lot of the time and uh, it worked well. I would repurchase it again but I've got so many dry shampoos that I have to go through and try. I won't be purchasing dry shampoo for a while. <laughs> so next, um, Listerine Zero Alcohol Mouthwash. I like the Zero Alcohol better than the alcohol one. Sometimes the alcohol one just burns a little bit too much. Uh, the next is the Skin Republic Retinol Hydrogel Under Eye Patches. You get three pairs in a packet. I have already repurchased these. I really like them. Uh, I don't know if they really do too much, but it's just kind of nice to pamper myself every now and then. I'll put them on before watching some Netflix or watching YouTube or watching whatever it might be. Um, and you just wear it for 30 minutes and take it off. I do like them. I do like a lot of the Skin Republic masks, actually. I, I find them quite quite good. Uh, this is another from the Maui Moisture. This is the Agave Hair Mask. Uh, I did like this, but there are deep conditioners or hair masks that I like more than this one. So I don't think I would rush out and repurchase this uh, there we go. Uh, next is the Retinol Hydrogel Mask from Skin Republic. That's what it looks like there. Uh, I really like the Hydrogel masks. And instead of being a normal sheet mask, it kind of is almost like a, a jelly consistency. Uh, and I like the way that it sits on my skin. I can doesn't really move around very much so I, I like these I have repurchased these next is the micellar uh, Garnier cleansing wipes uh, these are the ones that I think have rose oil or rose water or something in them maybe maybe I'm making that up but I like these ones I do have another packet of them already um, I tend to use them just as a quick grab and go I've got some packets of tea uh, I've been going through I had an advent calendar and some sample packs. So I'm just going through getting them all out. I thought, you know, I would include some extra little things like that in here. So for tea, I've just been throwing things aside as I've been using them um, when I remember to do so. So this is a tea from the Tea Centre. It's uh, an Australian store, but I think you can purchase online as well. Uh, it is Turkish Delight tea. So it's a black tea with vanilla and rose. This is probably one of my favorites from them. Uh, I really enjoy it. And if you enjoy tea and you enjoy Turkish Delight, you might want to try that one. Another one that I've been getting into, I don't necessarily like Earl Grey, like standard Earl Grey that much. I've been getting into it more, but this is the T2 French Earl Grey. So it's a flavored black tea. Um, I like the T2 Earl Grey, French Earl Grey tea. So I've repurchased those already. 
Now the rest are from an advent calendar and some samples that I've been working through uh, just at random. I will dip my, I put them all into like a jar and I'll just go in, pick one out and that's the one I'll have. So I'm trying out new things um, quickly to go through kind of each of them, whether or not I liked them. So this is um, Pax of Peach. It's a tisane, so it's not actually tea per se, uh, like traditional tea, the way you think about it. I like this one. I've got this one in a large size. I actually prefer it cold. Uh, I make it as an iced tea for summer. Melbourne Breakfast. So this one is um, vanilla flavoring in a black tea. Uh, generally like a breakfast tea. I like this one, but I think I prefer like an English breakfast a bit more, just a standard one. Um, but as far as a spin on a traditional English breakfast kind of a tea, this one's pretty good. So that's Melbourne breakfast. Next was Christmas breakfast. Uh, this one had more of a uh, like a chai flavoring, if you think about it that way. It's got ginger, cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, vanilla. I actually really quite like this one and I still have some of those. Uh, this is tummy tea and it's a peppermint with licorice root, fennel and marigold. I like this one as far as a peppermint tea goes. I just like the flavoring in it, um, but I can't have too much licorice root because otherwise it makes me feel dizzy <laughs> and I get really bad headaches. Um, so I just have to be careful when I'm um, drinking things that contain licorice, licorice root. Um, but I really do like the flavor of this one and I do have more of that. Jade Mountain is a flavored green tea. So this is, um, it's, it's different. Uh, it's a toasted kind of almondy green tea flavor. It's hazelnutty. Um, so it's uh, Gen Mai Cha. So roasted rice, green tea, and popped rice. And that's where this is different to other teas that I've tried. It kind of has a, a popcorny, almondy, hazel, hazelnut kind of flavor. I actually really like this for something different. So if you're into tea and you want to try something that's different, Jade Mountain is a good one to try out. Um, chai tea, uh, so it's just black chai tea. I like it. I never used to. I found chai teas really, really soapy, um, but I've been getting into it a lot more recently and I like it. Uh, China jasmine tea. So it is green tea with jasmine. Out of all the teas, green tea is probably my least favorite type of tea. Uh, China jasmine tea, it was fine, but I don't really go for green teas that often. Um, so I, if I was looking for a green tea, it's pretty good, but I don't really purchase a lot of green tea. In saying that though, the next one is Gorgeous Geisha, which is also a green tea. So it's green tea uh, with like a strawberry kind of flavor to it. Again, not really my type of thing, but I like to try, try new things every now and then. Twinkleberry, uh, I like this one. It's got apple, raspberry, beetroot. The beetroot, kind of, you can't really taste it. It just makes it look pink. Um, it's fruity, it's quite nice, but again, I prefer that one cold, iced. Uh, morning sunshine, I can't remember this one, but it just says black tea. Um, again, English breakfast is my go-to. And um, that's it for the teas. <laughs> Next is candle. This is Woodwick Bakery Cupcake Candle. I like the Woodwicks. Uh, they do make a crackle sound. So if you're not into that, um, don't get the Woodwicks. <laughs> but as far as a good like bakery sweet cupcake scent goes, I really like the Woodwicks. The next one is a Head and Shoulders. This is the Hair Retain Anti Dandruff Shampoo. I thought I'd give it a go um, because I was getting a lot of breakage or like my hair was falling out. Um, it just happens for me. I, I lose a lot of hair, but I don't know if it's more than normal. It just could be that because it's dark for the most part, apart from the gray, <laughs> um, that I notice it. Um, but yeah, didn't really notice too much of a difference and this really didn't do 
too much for me. And I don't really get a lot of dandruff anyway. Um, but if I do, and I used to, um, Head & Shoulders was my go-to shampoo for an anti-dandruff shampoo. Next is a nail lacquer thinner. This is the OPI nail lacquer thinner. This is a 60 mil. This will last a normal person with a normal amount of nail polish a very, very long time. Um, but having so much nail polish, um, this helps revive those polishes that have just gotten a little thick. Um, some of them, if they're beyond saving, then it's it, you could try it. You might as well try. Um, but these are really good for the polishes that have just had a little bit too much air get into them, a little bit thick, they might be slightly older. Works a treat. Uh, I've been using that for many years and uh, I've repurchased another bottle uh, because I always like to have one handy just in case. Uh, the next is a foundation. This actually isn't an empty, it's full. Um, but this is the Nude by Nature uh, Flawless Liquid Foundation in Classic Beige. I I think I was in a Get Ready With Me, one of the Get Ready With Me's. I tried this out. I've tried it a couple of times and it's just horrible. It does not work for my skin. It looks terrible. Um, that's why it wasn't even worth passing it on to somebody because it just... I didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. Um, you know, it is what it is. It doesn't work for everybody. Uh, this is another one of those. I haven't dyed my hair in like two and a half years now. Um, so my greys actually are almost at the very, very end of the top part. So at the bottom, they're all the way to the end. Um, I think there's from the very, very top part down, there's about an, just under an inch. It has to be cut off and then it's pretty much all natural. No, no hair dye, no nothing. So it's got like grey hair through it. And um, yeah, this is still one of the ones that I used up from my hair dyeing days. Uh, this is the Casting Creme Gloss. I really liked these conditioners. I can't, I wish they sold the conditioner that they have in hair dye in a normal bottle or like as a treatment because I really like the way that it makes my hair feel. The next is a soap. So I've been going through some soaps, but I haven't been saving them uh, as far as the, um, the labels and stuff go. This is from a local like small business, um, Bubble Mama Soaps. She does have a website. Um, so it's uh, B-U-B-B-L-E-M-A-M-A -M -A. soap. It's just that. One there. This particular one was Mysterious Woods. Um, I liked it. I like a lot of her soaps. I still have a whole heap of them to get through. Um, but I, yeah, also buy a lot of stuff for people for Christmas from her too. So that's also really nice. Uh, next is another Skin Republic mask. This one's a normal standard sheet mask. It's the Anti Spot and Pore Refining. Uh, I do have more of these. It's got salicylic acid and tea tree. I like it. I can't say that it is a, a miracle or anything like that, um, but I do like it. And my skin reacts pretty well to it. Next is an empties. It's the Drunk Elephant uh, Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I like this. I do like this. But I am trying other facial oils at the moment, so I haven't repurchased it. Um, it is quite pricey. It is nice, um, but I'm trying some others. I think Neutrogena, I think I've got some Skin Republic ones in another brand as well. Um, just to see, just some cheaper op options, I guess. Um, it was nice. I did like it, but I'm finding some of the other oils to be just as nice and they work on my skin. So. I probably won't repurchase that one, at least in the near future. Uh, the next is a pure clay mask from L'Oreal. This one is the Detoxifies and Brightens. It's just, I haven't, I didn't use it quick enough and it kind of doesn't look right in the tin anymore. So I do have some others um, that are newer than this one and uh, I will use those instead, but I really do like their masks. I think I like the... 
blue one and the red one um, from that. The next is a sunscreen. This is the Banana Boat 50 Plus SPF Face Sensitive Sunscreen. Uh, the reason why I got rid of this one is it expired. Um, I didn't go through I had a few of these because they were on sale. And this one, yeah, just didn't make it to the end. <laughs> so it is really important if you have anything that has SPF that you're relying on the SPF, so sunscreen in particular, uh, some makeups with SPF, check the expiry because once it's expired, uh, you might as well not use it at all because it's pointless. Um, so do check that. Um, that way, get a new sunscreen if it's expired. There's only two more things in here. So, I'll grab those. The first is a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I, I still have one this size. I found it when I was decluttering some stuff. And I like them. I do like them. Are they the best lip treatment I've tried? No. The best lip treatment I've ever tried was a Sally Hansen one from many, many years ago called Lip Quench or lip quencher that was the best treatment ever but they discontinued that a very long time ago and I'm still a bit sour about that <laughs> um but yeah I also like the is it called the creme de rose uh, Dior Christian Dior uh lip treatment um but again I can't find that here I think it may be discontinued like everything that I like um but I haven't tr found my holy grail uh, lip treatment. So if you do have any lip treatments or overnight balms, those types of things to suggest, please leave me a comment and let me know. And the last one I finished up is the Alginist uh, Absolute Hydration Replenishing Sleeping Pack Splash is the range. I didn't mind this. Um... When I first apply it to my skin, though, I noticed that it kind of tingles, it stings, almost burns. Uh, no reaction, so I couldn't see uh, my skin going red or anything. Um, but it does have that sort of un almost uncomfortable to the point where you think you should be wiping it off kind of burning sensation. Um, but again, so many masks don't need more, but it was decent. Um, it's just... Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure I'm very comfortable with that feeling. So that is it. That is my beauty trash, all of my empties for the moment. Uh, if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them below. If you've tried any of these or if you think you've got any recommendations for products that I might like, please also pop those in the comments. I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, evening or morning or whatever it might be, wherever you are. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.